We're a family-owned and operated winery. We started back in 1986 as a winery. My grandfather had come from Italy uh, many, many years ago, back in the 1920s. He had always made wine, and from local grapes, of course. And uh, my brother Len, at a very young age, became interested in grape growing through my grandfather. And uh, a few years later, my father um, and Len bought some land at, on the Beamsville bench in the, at the Cave Spring area, which is what our winery is named after in the early 70s. And we started making wine here in 1987. We haven't looked back since. There's four wine growing regions in Ontario. Uh, the first would be the Niagara Peninsula. The second would be uh, Lake Erie North Shore. The third would be Pelee Island. And the fourth would be Prince Edward County. The Niagara Peninsula is the largest and most varied of those four regions, and, and therefore it's more difficult to generalize, but um, in broad strokes we have the interaction of Lake Ontario and the Niagara Escarpment. The Escarpment is, is a hillside, and lake breezes that are moderated year-round kind of collide with the Escarpment. It's between the lake and the Escarpment on the south shore of Lake Ontario that those airflows and our uh, limestone and shale soils, depending where you are, interact, and you've got all sorts, ten to be exact, different uh, microclimates that have been defined or sub-appellations within the region. We're very much cognizant of, this, of the site that our wines come from and I think a lot of vintners in our region are and they want their wines to show their origins. When I think of Niagara I think brisk, crisp, um, lucid in the sense that they're wines that really are very transparent and they, they sort of show the individuality of the pockets they're grown in, where they come from. They can have this beautiful ephemeral minerality that is hard to describe for a lot of consumers, but you know, it's literally a taste of the soil that, that produces the wines and it varies from place to place. Delish. I hated the vineyards when I was a kid, but then later on you realize it's, it's pretty interesting what goes on, you know, like even the first few years working in the cellars and the transformation of juice into wine. What, it, what was that? It's magical, transforming grapes through fermentation into this alcoholic beverage that's not just um, for the pure pleasure of drinking alcohol. It's, it's the broad experience of food and wine and uh, social circumstances. That's what attracted me to the industry. As a winery, we're almost 25 years into it, 35 years with vineyards, and, and you learn as you go. And our industry is more experienced now than it was five years ago. Some years are, are great white wine years, not so great for red wines, um, and sometimes the other way around. Um, some years are great for Riesling, for example, and maybe not as good for some other white varieties, even within the white varieties. In 2007, like 2002, there's every variety performed at a high level. It's as close to perfect as we've had in the last uh, better part of 10 years, really. Everything came together in that 07 vintage, a very wonderful, uh, just a wonderful vintage, but also the experience is getting there and we're starting to realize what it is we do best and focusing in on that and I think there's never been more good wine from the varieties that we work best with in the region than right now.